Did you know that you can turn your car into a generator? A lot of folks don't wanna spend 500 or $1,000 on a power station or a generator, but for less than $200, you can convert your gas engine in your vehicle any vehicle into a generator and get that power into your home to keep your house warm in the event of a winter power outage. Now, the way that a car works is it has an alternator and the alternator is being spun by the engine, generating energy and restoring the power in your car battery. Now your car battery is storing that energy and then that battery can be used to give power to your home. Now you may have noticed in some vehicles that they actually have a 110 plug where you can actually plug something into. If your car already has that, you are one step ahead of the game, but we're gonna show you if your car does not have a 110 outlet like some Tacomas or I think Priuses have them, then we're gonna show you how to do that as well as how to get power to your gas furnace in the event of a winter power outage. The two items we're gonna use for this trick are right behind me. This is a Renogy 1000 watt inverter. This is currently priced at $169.99 on Amazon with a $20 coupon, so $149. And these clamps were about $12 or $13, so less than $200. And you can use these to get energy from any vehicle to your home and keep it warm, keep your fridge on, whatever you have to do in the event of an emergency power outage. Today's video is brought to you by Mr. Cool, America's number one choice for quality, affordable DIY HVAC equipment. Okay, so our inverter right here comes factory with these little covers that go over the little clamps here. But what we're gonna do to start with is remove these and we're going to attach these clamps that we bought separately on their terminals. So negative to black, positive to red, and then we'll come back when we have these attached. All right, there you have it. So we have these all attached here and they're nice and secure and snug. So this is now fully ready to attach to our car battery. Now you'll notice here on the other side that we have our two plugs. That's where we're gonna plug in an extension cord or if we need to get power via USB, we have a USB port there. So, but we have two outlets. So if we wanna run one of these to our fridge, one to our gas furnace, um, we can do that and you're limited by the amount of wattage the um, inverter is rated for. So this same company, Renogy, they sell this in a 1500 watt, a 2000 watt, a 3000 watt. So depending on how much power you need to pull, you can just buy this accordingly. But a thousand watt is gonna be great for if you need to power your 110 gas furnace or your fridge, this is totally capable of doing that. Okay, so we're out at the vehicle and we're going to simply find our battery and that's where we're going to find a location for this inverter. Now the beauty of this is we can place this to where it's not gonna to be touching the hood. We can close the hood and lock it and we don't have to worry about somebody stealing this so it's not just hanging out of the vehicle and that's the beauty of using this setup. So what we're gonna do next is hook our black up to our ground. Again, just making sure it's not gonna be hitting the hood and positive goes to red, just like that. So now, as you can see, when we turn this to the on position, the inverter will come on. And now these plugs will be live, so we can plug them into our fridge or our gas furnace. Okay, so now we have our extension cord. We're going to plug this in to our inverter, and then we're simply gonna tuck it away right here engine can still run, no problem. We can close the hood and we can actually lock it. So we're just gonna tuck that there and get our clo uh, hood closed. Okay, so that's fully latched. We can lock it, it's secure. And then we'll just follow our extension cord. Hey buddy, what are you doing? And right over here is our gas furnace. Now what we're using here is called the Easy Generator Switch. Now if you haven't seen this, this is $88 on Amazon. This is UL listed. There's a couple of ways that you can get power to your gas furnace, but this is probably the best way, the safest way. The other ways are definitely not, maybe not up to code. I don't think they're unsafe, but they might not be up to code in your area um, and are cheaper, but this is 88 bucks again, a very cheap price to pay to get power to your gas furnace. Now check this out guys. So we're simply gonna take the other end of our extension cord, plug it in, and then we're gonna swap over from grid power to generator. And this is gonna completely isolate from the grid. 
There is no potential to backfeed and injure someone in the grid. So no concerns about that. We'll bump this over to generator and then turn our thermostat into heating mode. All right, so we're simply gonna bump this up. Hot surface igniter just kicked on and we should have ignition in just a moment. And there we go. All of this is running off the easy generator switch through this extension cord to our truck. How stinking cool is that? Now, if you don't wanna spend 90 bucks on the easy generator switch, you can accomplish the same thing for about $20 and I'll make sure and leave that video linked at the end of this one. But basically all it is is we put an outlet right here, or I guess it would be right here, with a pigtail that goes to the furnace. And then in the event, the event of an emergency power outage, you simply unplug the male end of that pigtail, plug it into the female end of your extension cord, and the same thing would apply. You would run it out to your vehicle and you can power your gas furnace. Now there is a couple of caveats when it comes to turning your vehicle into a generator. It is that you do have to start the vehicle from time to time. The good part is you can close the hood, leave the inverter in there, no problem whatsoever. And you can run your car for hours on end. Some people say it's not good for the motor, but the reality is most of our vehicle time is spent idling. And so running it idling or starting it from time to time and just letting it idle is totally fine. And for that matter, your car is so much quieter than a generator. If you're in an emergency situation and people are looking for generators, they can listen for them, but they can't listen for your car running and they won't even know what to do because it doesn't sound like a generator. That's the cool part of doing this trick. So folks, if you wanna save money and you want to still be prepared for a winter power outage or any power outage for that matter, all you need is this inverter and those clamps and you're good to go. As always, I'll make sure everything is linked down in the video description for easy access. Now, if you wanna see the full installation video of the easy generator switch or the cheaper alternative, you can find those videos right there. And until next time, you guys be safe. Later.